Hi, I'm Nancy with Factory Direct Craft, and today we're going to make this nautical anchor wreath. What we're going to need is white yarn, blue yarn, jute rope, 3 millimeter and 7 millimeter, a hot glue gun, styrofoam wreath, and I used a 12 inch, red paint for the anchor, measuring tape, pencil, paintbrush, and scissors, and then if you like a clear coat spray for the anchor. Get all your supplies together and then we can get started on the project. So. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mark off on our wreath three and an eighth inches. It's like this all around the wreath and I'm using a a soft, uh, like a sewing measuring tape because of the round wreath. And if you do that, then it's going to come out even. And you see I've already got the white on. Now I'm going to put a, the stripe of blue and I'm going to go to the back side. You want to keep all your cuts on the back side. And just get a manageable length of, of yarn because if you get too much, too many yards at a time, or the whole skein, it won't go around. You gotta go in and out of the middle of the wreath, so. If you get too long, they get tangled. And what you're doing is you're going around and around and you want to get them close and pretty tight. Because it's gonna cover that whole service. There we go, and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to put a little hot glue right there, lay it in there, and then trim it, making sure your end doesn't show from the front, just like that. And this is what you're going to do all the way around, every other color. And I have one, but I've done that already. So you don't have to watch me do all the way around for an hour. And the next thing we're going to do is add the rope. And I've got one side on already. We're going to have this rope on either side. And this is the 7 millimeter. Here I'm going to trim off this end. Kind of coming apart. Okay, and we would turn it to the back again. And I want to get it right across the other side from where it was. So let's, okay, right about there. I'm going to glue this on, anchor it on. Let's see. I better make sure I got that right before I get too carried away here. Yeah, I think I want it a little lower. And anchor that down and you're gonna wrap this just like we wrap the yarn okay going in and out I'm gonna count this one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight so one more time around so then it was even Oh yeah, that looks good. Now I'm going to cut that to where I want it to end. And anchor, huh, I'm going to anchor this down with the hot glue. Make sure it looks tight. Okay, now the next step is to paint the anchor. And I've got this really pretty anchor here. I'm going to paint it red. Put a little paint in here. And 
And I'm going to put a coat on here. And what I found, I, I used at least two coats because the red, you want it to be really even color red. Get all your edges really good. This will be really cute on the front door. Okay, and then we got to let that dry. But I already got one dry. We'll move that out of the way. Make sure I don't have any wet paint on my hand. And then I'm going to glue this anchor right like this. So I got to see where I want to put the glue. So it'll go right down in this area right here. Let's see if I should. I think I can get enough surface. You want to make sure enough surface is going to get glue so this will really stick to your anchor and not come off. Let's see. Oh, I can go way up on this too, it looks like. I'm going to put it just like this. And hold it there for a little bit so we don't want it to fall off. Okay, and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to just tie some of the small rope. I think it, this is like three millimeter. And I'm just going to tie a little, little loop on here and trim it so this will hang on the door hanger then. And your wreath is done. Isn't that cute? Thanks for watching.